Go crawl up on his uh, cruiser. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. We're getting trailed, dude. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage and today we're gonna continue working on the Mercedes G63 and we finally finished up all the framework, which that's just huge because that was a super difficult task. Now that that's out of the way, we can move on to the next part of the process, which is body work, it's a bunch of sanding and just preparing for a fresh paint job. We're gonna paint this whole entire thing. So it's just gonna be a pretty dang epic process. But right now, the first thing that we want to do is probably try to get this sucker off of the frame machine. And as you guys know, we did order a bunch of suspension components and this side was damaged. So we're going to probably start with that, replace all that right there. That way we could probably set it down on all fours. And I don't even know if we're going to actually be able to roll this sucker off the frame machine because the rear uh, calipers are actually locked up the e-brakes. So we might have to fork it. And it is much lighter now that we got all that interior out. So I think the forklift should not struggle this time because this is a pretty heavy vehicle, but with that missing, I think it should be right in that range where it can handle it. But anyways, let's go ahead and probably start in this corner right here, replace a bunch of stuff, maybe throw on all the wheels, see if we can do something, see if we can make it move and then eventually get it down where we can work on it a lot easier. Thing looks good sitting on all fours, dude. I'm not dude. used to it, man. It looks low, man. It was up there high for a it long time. It was, and also that skid steer barely got that sucker off of there, hey, too. But it's way lighter now. We got it on the ground, dude. This is just crazy, dude. After throwing on the suspension, of yep. course, because I mean, this thing was obliterated. There was nothing here, so we got it pretty much all assembled and the spare tire on. The rear tire is kind of busted, so it's sitting a little awkward, but it's on the ground. That yes, is sir. Awesome, on the man. ground, and it's going to make it so much easier to work with right here over here dude it was kind of funny you know it's kind of weird just working with dude, it up there dude. it was bad here now we can like do all the body work you know everything way easier dude yes sir but hey don't forget dude we're gonna probably go back up that high up man with the lift be kit. Epic. i wonder if they even sell lift kits that high for this thing they, they do. probably sell everything they have man. the four by four squared which is basically a lifted edition those things look sick, dude. I think these dude. look better, though. You know, they're low to the ground. They look more sportier and stuff like that. But we still got a long time before we even think of anything <laughs> right. like that because look how much welds we got to grind down, a bunch of body work. We still got to do a, even a little bit more welds around the windshield. Man, there is a ton of work. But I got to say, it's going to be way easier than the framework and process. Man, that was tough. That dude. right there was just an absolute nightmare, just yeah. about. A hundred percent. It's probably one of the toughest vehicles so far, but it's all there. It's finally all. Look 
looking like a G-Wagon. And now all that's left is to pretty much just get this thing ready for some paint. Yes, man. sir, dude. Let's go ahead, bring out like a bunch of grinders, grind some stuff, grind this thing down to smithereens, hey, dude. First, we're going to finish up welding yep. everything around the wind chunk frame, and then we're going to bring out like 200 grinders. And if we had 200 people, we'd bring them out here as well. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are officially done welding and grinding. We ended up welding up this whole entire windshield frame right here, which that went super quick. And then we just brought in the belt sanders. We have a Milwaukee cordless one and also the 3M air grinder. I think the air is a little bit faster, but you know what? The both of us on it, we were able to knock out everything from this side to that side over there, the areas where we spliced in, and of course all the spot welds. And check this out right here. So. This right here is officially ready for some body filler. We got it down to that bare metal. I think we just got to sand down the edges a little bit up top and on bottom. And then we're going to bring in some of that skim coat or whatever you call it, that body filler. And we're going to be able to sand that smooth and it's just going to look like nothing ever even happened. I believe we're even going to do probably a skim coat on these areas. What do you think about that? Yeah, right probably there? just to get it all nice and smooth. That way it looks like OEM, man. Dude, <laughs> yes, sir, man. I'm excited to be getting past all that metal shavings or whatever dude that, that stuff awful. dude when it gets into this joint right here dude it itches it'll forever. itch all night <laughs> dude i'm telling you you got to make sure to take a cold shower to wash that stuff off but you know what guys it is officially time i think we're gonna probably start on this side over here and then we eventually will work our way all the way around and then we'll go to that side i'm hoping this right here takes maybe a couple hours maybe a whole entire day and before you know it we're gonna have this sucker primed in sand it down and we'll be heading for the paint booth
Alrighty guys, we are moving right along with this body work and this is our most favorite part right here. Body work, we love it. We love to eat it, inhale it, all that stuff. Totally kidding guys. This is our least favorite part right here, but you know what, we are moving right along. And these little suckers right here where we spice it in are pretty dang difficult just because of like all like the weird formations that are going on in here. There's so much that you gotta think about just to match it up to that OEM spec right there. This one right here, we about got it knocked out right here, but I think it might need like one more layer. What are you thinking? Should we? sit there and form it out a little bit more like an artist dude, dude i'm telling you man this stuff is tricky especially when you yeah. weld it kind of warps the metal a little yep. bit and it just gets it tough man. it does yeah but you know what we are getting it done this one right here is a little bit tricky as well and same for up here and we were thinking about it as we were working we're like dang we're doing a lot of body work kind of unnecessary why didn't we replace the whole entire side did that would have been that would have been awesome, man. Dude, did we just mess up, dude? Honestly, we, if they did sell the whole entire side, we probably would have replaced it. That's weird. Most cars will literally sell the whole entire side, but I guess uh, Mercedes doesn't sell it because I think we can only buy this whole entire panel right here in sections, like the upper section, then the lower section, which is kind of weird. But I guess maybe we didn't do enough research. I mean, we did a bunch of research, but maybe not enough. But anyways, guys. We're gonna keep on moving. We're gonna probably go ahead and focus on this a little bit more. We're gonna perfect it. We got one more on the bottom right there. And then we got this one massive one right here that we gotta knock out. And then one more on that side over there. And that's gonna be it for our body work. Unless we find something else maybe. carburetor clean out or something dude, dude. this thing runs the steering there or is there an issue with the steering the steering is a little it just cuts off randomly i think it's the remote because i noticed the remote kind of cuts off randomly when you shake it a certain way huh. so we might just need a new remote but dude this thing just fires right up i mean let me see if it'll fire up now just easy hey we changed out the part that we needed we took a little pause from the mercedes man dude, that body work is a nightmare it is it's just tough so we had to get back on this thing we never really like messed with it and now it is it's running dude the only thing is it just wants to drive on its own you have to just press the brake right here to slow it down so just forward to slow it down other than that dude this thing's a beast dude man. dang monster truck right here dude <laughs> dang let me get on that thing this sucker right here should give it an extra thousand horsepower. Easily. professionals something's going on with it man Gotta get fixed. the brakes are not working i mean it, it started actually running a lot better it, it really wants to rip but Dude, it doesn't want to stop you that's know? the thing it goes way faster now with a new car but now we actually need brakes we're back what's up guys what's, what's up what's man happening? i haven't seen you in a minute it's been a long time dude don't live down here anymore let me play Dang, son. Things a beast. We got the axles upgraded, the gears inside, I guess. I don't know. I think the is. gear in the transfer case is probably stripped or something like that. So Yeah, it was bad. Dang. Got this fixed, that fixed. Now we gotta get that raminator fixed. Gotta get the right brakes there. fixed. <laughs> What'd you buy? A little airplane? Yeah, might as well. Man, we're spending all of our money here. Might as well build a real Jeep. At this point, oh, RCG. What that thing, wait, man? what is this? RCG <laughs> Mitsubishi. Wait, is this thing ready to fly? 
Yeah. It's got a remote and everything? Yeah. Dang, that's pretty sweet. put it on charge right now. Put it, in, put it right there. We got a socket. We're ready to go. We got plenty of things to crawl. We just got to figure out the brakes on the Raminator here. And then we'll go, we'll take it to the we're, little We're about to go there. rip around as soon as he got it, man. Look at him. He's figuring it out. He's about to have it two stroking and two smoking. So basically our servo went out right there for some reason and he didn't have one in stock. So we're just gonna run this thing without brakes. We got plenty of land over open, here. Open space, yeah. yeah. That's the most important thing. I don't care about brakes right now. Hey, don't forget to put your antenna up. You're in trouble. There we go. <laughs> Dang, dude. That was sweet. <laughs> Now that's what that thing was made for right there. And look at this, we got the perfect little humps and jumps here. Hey, we're about to clear all of them, dude. Man, this thing definitely needs some tuning. It like didn't want to go in a drive, but you know what? Ain't, wor ain't worried about it right <laughs> now, dude. Right now we're just having fun, man. That was epic. Dude. That donut. Dude, that's awesome. I, I want to clear something dude. crazy. I broke something, dude. Oh, it just fell out right there. What oh. is that? Oh, oh, it just oh. unscrewed. Oh, no, you oh, stripped it a little bit. That, those jumps, man. Dude, but that was the funnest thing I've ever done. Dude, this probably, that was probably one of the funnest RC trucks ever, dude. Well, shoot, guys. That's the issue right there. Just the bolt was not long enough and it just kind of ripped out of the thread. And you know what? We got something coming for this thing. Let's just tell you guys, it's going to be triple, faster. double the speed. Probably triple the speed. Dude. What? This thing only goes probably like... Dude, after me actually trying it out for the first time, I can see where that $2,600 bill came from right there, dude. It's expensive. It's one. worth it, but... It's fun. Dude, this is an expensive hobby. What the heck? Stuff breaks all the time. We just spent how much? 600 bucks on all the other stuff for the other RCs? That's, over, that's overkill right there, but it's going to be worth it. Back strainer right there. <laughs> it's heavy. You guys don't understand how heavy this sucker actually is. It's literally like 80 pounds, 100 pounds, and it's kind of awkward to pick it up. So yeah, you can't really pick it up by the plastic bars. You gotta like dig your hands in there. But but dude, what a blast this sucker is, dude. Actually, finally for the first time, actually ripping it, it it's worth it. Go crawl up on his uh, cruiser. Oh snap. Oh, just about. Oh, look at all those spider webs. Dude, that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna try to make this look as realistic as possible. You're gonna have to go really slow. I'm, I'm gonna put some uh, actual V8 noises behind it. Got a light little drizzle coming down. It's perfect for crawling, dude. Good or for not good for airplanes, yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, we're getting trailed, dude. The Raminator. What'd, what'd you do? What'd you do? The Raminator. Do a big old burnout, I dare you. <laughs> do one. You got lucky. <laughs> you didn't see. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't wreck it, dude. I no. told you. <laughs> it's made so the prop flies off, so. Is it not damaged? No, no, it's not. It's in good condition. What kind of prop is that? No, it's made for the prop to fly out. Oh, got a little crack. Where's, Where's your prop? Are oh, you Where's... looking for the prop? Yeah. Did it not come with extras? How much was this thing? This was $100. Was it worth it? No, it was like $160, wasn't it? No, it was just 100 bucks. Oh, dang, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. It's so fast, dude. If you wreck over there, dude, it ain't coming back. Oh no. Oh, dude, good save. Just go down. Don't... All right, let me turn around over here. I can't see it. You know, I don't know which way. <laughs> higher, 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 higher. Bro. <laughs> Shh. 
She good? Wait, why are you flying off that way? You're never gonna make it over that building. Oh, that was a good landing. That was good, dude. We did a quick little repair, guys. Um, it looks like the person that put this thing together didn't put it together properly. Yeah, they, I believe they put so. the wrong uh, bolts, so they're actually a lot shorter, but we made them a little bit longer. Don't ask how. We <laughs> hey, we fabricated something. We made something up. Let's see how it does. <laughs> So back on the G-Wagon, we're probably not gonna continue with our body work just now. What we wanna do is actually throw on some doors. So we wanna throw these left doors on, that way we can see if our body lines are good. Cause usually after you paint and you don't test it with the doors, it'll be wavy, especially up here. I really want this back door to be on there and just make sure everything is lining up. And honestly, we might just go ahead and start piecing together the front end. Dude, that'd be <laughs> cool. Be so easy because like, honestly, this thing is pretty much ready to be pieced together and sit right into that paint booth. As soon as we're done with all, all, all the body work. You exactly, know I mean? yeah, dude. I'm even stuttering, I'm so excited. <laughs> dude, let's go ahead and probably test fit this before we get a little carried away. And then maybe piece together that whole front end, dude. Maybe slap the fender on. Just drive it like that. Dude. Roll it into the paint booth <laughs> or just drive it for real, Almost dude. Almost there, man. That is just insane to finally see this thing. The doors, however, they fit up super nice. So the most important thing was to see how these body lines go. Right here is a, a kind of one that we want to go off of, which that's going to be good to have the door on here. Everything else looks amazing. Had to throw on the front end, the fender, the hood, and all this stuff actually just goes on there super simply, dude. Dude, lining this thing up is going to be super easy. So yeah. I'm happy about that. From here on out, Literally, the hardest part is that body work and the rest, dude. Just paint, man. Just, just paint. lay it down, put it together, and just do a burnout. But guys, that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. Can't wait to show you guys what we have planned, not only for this build, but we're just gonna give you guys a little sneak peek back there. We've been working on that behind the scenes. It's gonna be absolutely insane. But also, this build right here is gonna turn out epic when we're done with it as well. But that's gonna be all. Thank you guys so much for all love and support. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.